<laughs> what day is it? Um, day 19. Yikes. That's been a lot of days. Um, I need to catch up on putting videos up. Also, my laptop is like out of memory, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way to Princeton because I have an appointment to see an, like a sports medicine doctor um, about my shoulder because it's been getting better, but like I don't know what happened. I still can't like hold myself in a plank or like lift anything without feeling some kind of like bruised pain in my shoulder. So, but yeah, stay tuned to see what happened to my shoulder. Um, I really want to be working out and doing things other than lower body and ab stuff, so fingers crossed. Okay, good news everyone. Why do I look like an actual bald rat? Okay, anyway, but good news is that I don't have any fractures or like bone things, which is what I was like mostly worried about, or like dislocations. All of those look fine. Um, it's just muscle strains so that's good he I was asked him if I could do like lifting and push-ups and sprints and running and stuff and he was like all that will be fine obviously you might be in pain but I can still do them low intensity um, that's good so I'm glad I'm gonna go like catch up on all the workouts that I missed shout out to Sion's knee <laughs> Even though it's also half my own stupidity, so shout out to his knee and my stupidity for this dumbass injury. But it's okay, it's not major, we're okay. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Stelly! Where's the entrance? Literally right here. Oh. Have you said hi to people yet? Hi to my friends. Oh, hi. <laughs> my name's Chris. Wait, I just noticed that your hair is different. You shaved the side of it. Yeah. Wow. No, I shaved the side. It's just sometimes it grows out. Yeah, I think I've only seen it when it's been grown out. It seems really long and annoying. How do you exercise with that? I put, I put a ponytail. Oh. How do you exercise with your hair? I was just wondering. I don't know. It's different, kind of. <laughs> I wear a, a man bun, you know. Let uh, lipstick. Nice. It's the Fenty that Funing got me. Basically, she was like, "Hey, you know Brett Kavanaugh?" And I was like, "Uh, uh -oh. why?" And she was like, "You know, I don't really think what he did was wrong." What? And I was like, "What?" So we like got into this argument. And Are you that's a lot of butter. Don't judge me. <laughs> I know, it was really good. We had a guy on the team who was a Chinese streamer. Hmm? What's that, the eggplant thing? This is the eggplant campanade. I'm gonna try the hummus. Was it good? It was really good. Okay, I'm trying this hummus. Hummus! I'm so happy. <laughs> That's good. So, Subscribe to our channel, Callum. You can see our daily adventures. What was it? Hit that like. Smash, smash that like. <laughs> so say it. Oh my god. <laughs> smash that like. Oh hit the god. bell button and subscribe. Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm hitting savvy. Dude, Sion, he's um outshining you with the smash that like button. <laughs> I have a friend at school with name Sion. He loves the vlog. And live for the vlog. He does. The vlog. No, he literally lives for the vlog, and says, "Smash that like button." What up, YouTube? That's like his like thing. When he's on vlogging, it. or just in real life? Oh no, extra? when he's vlogging. Oh, okay. How many uh, subscribers does he? No, he's really good at frisbee. Uh, <laughs> no, terrible at YouTube. <laughs> good at frisbee. Yeah, she owns a terrible YouTuber. Good at frisbee though. Oh shit! You guys gonna have a channel feud now? Maybe. His channel is my channel. Oh shit. <laughs> 
I don't know how to eat this. Birthday coming up, I was like, it's gonna lit dinner or something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, any fun news from your end of the world? Hmm, turn the camera off. Off the record. Consultant. For like individual consultants. It's like a trainer. To increase. That's yummy. Mm hmm. This is really good. <laughs> Fucked up, so I like eating them. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are all made in house. Let's get one or two. How, yeah. How full are you feeling? I'm like, I can eat a dessert. Fuck yeah, okay, let's do it. I kind of want to try the roasted parsnip panna cotta. Well, that sounds intense. Yeah, it sounds like super unique. Oh, a chocolate beet cake? What Where? That? Right under it. Ooh, should we get the weird ones? <laughs> Let's, yeah, do you want to both each get a weird one? Yeah, split it? yeah. Um, again, the most amazing lipstick known to man because look how look how well it's staying on. Rihanna made it. Uh, Chocolate beet cake. And was this parsnip panna cotta? Roasted parsnip panna cotta. Thank you very much. God. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it tastes like a beat. I don't know what it's going to <laughs> Tastes like dirt. I like the goat cheese ice cream a lot. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> I like unconventional ice creams. Like mm -hmm. tomato ice cream. Mm. Mm. This crumble's kind of savory. How do they turn this nasty parsnip into that? You sure that's a parsnip? Yeah. I don't know it. They look like carrots. Oh, have you tried the Ben Spoon's Christmas tree ice cream? No, what is it? Is it very like, piney or something? Mm hmm It's really gross. Does it taste like gin? I fucking hate gin. Uh-uh. It tastes like a Christmas tree. Mmm. Yeah, exactly what you want. <gasps> I'm so excited. Fine. It's everyone's birthday. Happy New Year. Cheers. I know, we've been guilted into eating the mold wine jellies, which we thought were beet jellies. Okay, I'm trying it. What, they, what is mold wine? Mmm, mm, good. Well, I can't, I can't breathe. It's way too tight. <laughs> oh no, it's cold. Okay, McCallum, honest reviews of our dinner. It's good except for the fucking mold jelly wine. Yeah, yeah, I liked everything. The pork, what was your favorite part? Dude, the pork belly. Yeah, the pork belly was amazing. Every time I get pork belly as an appetizer, it's always the best part. I had a, I went, to it's flex in time, went to another Michelin star restaurant in SF. <laughs> You're so fancy, you, know, you go to, all, only go to Michelin that's star only where I places. eat, of course. And, oh. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a lot of makeup, and I have this cleansing gel from Tarte that I got in a birch box, and you know, might as well just like review it and try it and see if it actually does anything. So I guess we'll see. And I usually use the Clean It Zero, which like literally melts it off. Um, yeah, we'll see if Tarte can do anything. Oops. All right, so it's like a gel consistency. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. Ooh, that's scary. Because the Clean It Zero literally will just like melt it off and this I can feel it's still pretty stiff. So, you know, not effective at taking off heavy duty mascara. Yeah, so I got like, I got everything off except for my mascara. As you can see, it's still, still there. I 
really wasn't expecting anything to be able to take off my Curl Fix mascara, and this one didn't, so I'm not surprised. Oh well, I'm still gonna stick with my Korean makeup remover. And look at this. There's still lipstick on my lips. Yeah. Tarte makeup remover, not a fan. I don't even know what brand it was. 